Now, with more complete coverage, News 13 continues with Ron Futrell and the sports team. All right, the Kings have a chance to do the nearly unthinkable tomorrow. Beat the Lakers on their home court, and the Kings will knock the two-time defending NBA champs out of the playoffs. We think we could do it. You know, we played, I think we played them better on the road than we did at home. It's going to be really fun, you know, to close down, down there and in front of their fans, you know, and in front of their people. So I think we're going to enjoy that more. <laughs> it's going to be fun, you know. <laughs> He's talking in past tense there. Mm -hmm. Might be a language issue or something there. But the Lakers won't go down, of course, without a fight. And their coach, Phil Jackson, has won three straight when his teams have been in do-or-die situations. You know, having his experience, uh, you know, in these situations, in these pressure situations, definitely helps us out a lot as far as our preparation, as far as our poise goes. When you don't see your president worry and your general doesn't worry, then usually the, our troops don't worry. So we're not worried. We just know that we have to go out and do what we're capable of doing. And if we do that, then nine out of ten times, then we should be fine. I don't think Shaq ever worries about anything. I don't no, think, yeah. You know. Anyway, Andre Agassi caught a bit of a break today. Second round of the French Open against David Sanchez. Sanchez with a bad foot. He actually won the first set Sanchez did. Andre then comes back and wins the next two. Then Sanchez has more problems with that blister and has to quit the match. So Andre, the fourth seed at the French Open, wins and moves on to round three. On the women's side, the top seed is American Jennifer Capriati. She takes on Amy Fisher today. Not the Amy Fisher, just a Amy Fisher. Uh, a lot of baseline action and a lot of waiting for somebody to make mistakes. Fisher does early and often, and Capriati wins 6-4, 6-3. A rough day for the Rebel golf team at the NCAA as they have fallen into a tie for 24th, 13 over par. Round three takes place tomorrow in Columbus. There's a lot of talk about Tyson Lewis right now, but there is a fight this weekend. Hasim Rahman stepping on the scales, 224 pounds. He's going to take on Evander Holyfield Saturday night in Atlantic City. That's not Evander Holyfield right there. That's PR guy Alan Hopper. Thank goodness. Doing, yes, doing his best Julius Caesar. He looks like one of those guys you see walking around Caesar's Palace. No, he doesn't. Alan's a good guy. But yeah. Um, Actually, Evander Holyfield, though, right there, 216 pounds. This fight not expected to be a real big one, but at least the two guys can stand together when they do promotions, which is a unique idea in heavyweight. Each other. Well, they, I don't see them fighting there. They're, they're pretty calm. They're just comatose almost. <laughs> right, that's, that's why the, the fight won't sell. <laughs> thanks, Ron. All right, thanks a lot. That does it for this edition of News 13 at 11. Thank you for tuning in. If you like your short week, tomorrow's Friday. We'll see you back here then.